Hey guys, and welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today we're going to be making lip butter, so let's get started. That way our lip, um, our lip butter can have um, some colorant to it. So we're going to go ahead and use some all-natural mica powder. This one is like a light blush. I'm just going to go ahead and put that into our carrying oil. So when you're mixing in mica powder, um, whether you're putting it into a candle or into um, lip butter or anything um, to dissolve it, you need to put it in a carrier oil first. That way its color can disperse. Um, that way you don't get different types of like clumping of your mica powder in your lip butter or your body scrub or your sugar scrub or um, your soap or anything like that. So I want this to be a slightly darker neutral. So we have some vitamin E oil here that we are dispersing our mica powder in. Now vitamin E oil um, in lip butter also acts as a preservative because we have natural oils going into the lip butter. So we want to disperse it and this is a really pretty, almost like, it's got a semi like um, chocolate hue to it, but also like some blush. So we went ahead and mixed, oh, where are we at? Mixed it all in there. So now we can go ahead and add it to our oils. So everything like you guys have seen already in the video, everything is pre-measured. So we're gonna go ahead and add our vitamin E oil. Just make sure we get all of that out of our little spoon. Make sure we get all the carrier oil. Scoop that up. And our mica powder. That way our lip butter can have good color to it. Just have it down here. And we might need to add a little bit more mica to it because the hemp oil actually, oh, that's a really pretty color actually right now. So it's like a mossy green with a brown like swirl in it. So we're gonna go ahead and incorporate that. Let's see how it turns out. So what we need to do, um, obviously we have our beeswax in here. We have um, our coconut oil, we have our jojoba oil, we have our hemp seed oil. We have our vitamin E in here. We have coconut oil. Um, all of those oils have been melted down. They're all combined now. We have our mica powder in there. It looks really pretty. Just mixing it in, kind of incorporating it. Our formula is ready. So we're gonna go ahead and add in our flavorant. Um, we have cucumber melon. So today we're gonna be making cucumber melon. Go ahead and add in a few drops of that. Now when you're mixing in your essential oils, be careful because some essential oils flow faster than others. This one has a slower drop to it, which is okay. It's mixed in there that way. It's nice and strong. Oh, it smells really good. Oh, cucumber, melon. This is good for summer, for fall. Getting into the winter time, we'll have different um, scents like peppermint and things like that. But for now, we're sticking with the lighter ones. So depending on your mixture, when you make up your own lip butter, um, you're gonna need different types of droppers to take your um, formula and pour it into your tubes or um, perhaps you're using some of the short round disc um, containers 
for my formula, I started out using um, one of these glass droppers from Amazon. I noticed very quickly that my batter, um, my formula, was clogging up the end of the little beaker um, just because it comes down to a really, really fine tip. Um, so I, I switched out, I ran over to Walmart and I ended up grabbing one of these little um, syringes, like the medicine syringes, because they're so much easier um, to pull it up. I don't have super steady hands when it comes to like pouring from this small um, beaker into the different, um, all the different little tubes. So it's as simple as making sure your formula is completely incorporated. A brand new, um, like a toddler medicine syringe. I found that those work the best with my formula. I was using um, some of the really fine tips, like the droppers um, from the craft store or from Amazon. With my formula, it's a little bit thicker. Go right up to the top. My formula is a little thicker and it was starting to clog the end of the dropper really, really fast. Um, so I had to figure out something faster the first time I ran this to test it. And I found that these little um, toddler droppers work the best. Obviously you don't mix the ones that you use in your house for your business ones, but um, so we just unpackaged this one. But I have all different types of these. Um, I personally just think that they work really well. When you're making the butters, um, the lip butters, they come out much thicker, much, much thicker than um, a lot of the lip balms. Now remember if you get any on the side you can always go back in and clean it up later with a paper towel. But I like to make sure that it is filled all the way up to the top. All the way up. And while it's still warm, if you do notice, there's a little bit of a gap or a little bit of a space. You can go in and lightly fill that up some. Fill it out where it still merges with the rest. fluid. Now when you make this, um, when you make your recipe, you can obviously double it, triple it, whatever it is that you want. I'm not sure if you guys can see this, I'll just keep bringing them over. later and we'll clean that one up. So not all of them are 100% perfect, but that's okay because you can always go back in later with gloves and a thin little piece of paper towel and clean up the tubes. Now the tubes need wiped down anyways, regardless if you've, you know, accidentally spilled some um, or not on the edges. Um, if you're going to label them for um, like a farmer's market or to sell them online, you need to put proper labels on them. So you definitely need to make sure that all that oil uh, from your mixture is not on the outside because then your labels obviously don't stick as well. They won't stick as well. Very close to getting all of our tubes, all of our tubes filled. And if you see any that have a little bit, like I said, just blend them in. Ooh, there we go. Sometimes when these um, beakers are brand new, they pop just a little bit. So 
So don't be surprised if you get a little bit of excess on the sides. It's okay. You can go back in later and clean them up. Obviously, you want to aim not to do that because then, you know, it's product that's down. But sometimes... Sometimes it happens, you know? That's okay. But our mixture is starting to thicken. I believe that's why it's happening right now for us. So I do have some backup containers that I'm going to be pulling out here in just a minute. So I make sure everything is, oh, go ahead and stand up, basically even. Now this one has a little spot. in and this one could be filled up just a tad bit more all right there we go all right so before I go ahead and fill up the remainder in my backup containers I'm gonna have to go ahead and reheat this um, just a little bit to continue to finish those off but these are our chapstick tubes so um, as you can see, you can fill them up with your little beakers, nice clean tubes. Um, I leave these set 24 hours without the caps on them. That way they can harden and cure. Um, and then tomorrow I will go ahead and cap them and set them aside for the jar that will go in for the farmer's market. All right, guys. Well, that's it for creating our lip butter here at Minty's Militia. This is my go-to uh, beeswax that I do prefer. This is Beeswax Yellows Bees yellow beeswax. Um, this is the one that I use in all of my lip butter formulas, um, as well as some of my soaps. Um, I melt down the beeswax and I incorporate that in my formulas. Um, so as you guys can see, we have our fully cured uh, lip butters in our tubes ready for labeling. Um, and then also my little backup containers um, these lids just pop on the little blue caps just screw on once they're totally set um, but yeah these are my little backup containers we filled three of these because I ran out of my traditional uh, twist tubes but yeah that is it is that simple and um, easy to, to create your own lip butters um, using using beeswax obviously this is a um, an organic beeswax. This is not a vegan friendly beeswax because it does have animal byproduct in it with the beeswax, but um, you can obviously change out your beeswax for a different type of wax um, that is animal, um, more animal friendly and, uh, and the vegan option to choose. So thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you guys subscribe to our channel and we'll see you next time.